<laughs> well, I am a balloon fetishist, and that means something to some people. I would say I'm, I'm a more eclectic balloon fetishist. I enjoy doing different things with balloons, but we're going to be putting people inside of balloons. Um, that's always fun. I would like to get eight people in at least, which would break the record of seven that we have already. Um, it's just fun any way to do it, you know, get people, take total strangers, take their clothes off and get inside of a very small space with other people. It's always fun to watch. But creating an installation that is very beautiful to look at, and for me, <laughs> just highly stimulating. <laughs> oh, the idea of that many rooms. I, do, I, do, I like to do things like rent inflatable bouncers and fill them to capacity with balloons, fill your room at home with balloons. I have balloons from all over the world. Some of the balloons we have today are from Germany. So, uh, very odd, interesting balloons that you wouldn't see, you know, unfortunately, as a daily thing. <laughs> this ought to be fun. It's really about creating an environment for people to really enjoy and have fun. And I don't know, it's about play for me anyway. It's balloon porn. Don't lie to the man. <laughs> <laughs> balloon porn. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> And there are interesting things you can do with balloons that, you know, the average person might not think of. You know, you can take the really big balloons that are six foot and you can use those as cushions for the pushins. <laughs> <laughs> you can put someone in the balloon. Uh, I don't know, there's so many different things you can do with them. And then, you know, some people like to, you know, play with them in a very personal way. <laughs> I'm shocked. That's the way to put it. I have no idea. <laughs> Actually, lunars are getting a lot of uh, press these days. They just did that show on TLC about... Uh, he's actually a, a lunar friend of mine. And um, I think we're going to see a lot more of balloon fetish out there. Balloons and neon, they are two of my fetishes. You know, it just does something to me when I you know, see neon things, and that's been since I was a teenager. And latex is something I've loved since I was about 21. And the last few years, the balloon thing is really, really... <laughs> so don't be surprised if you see me humping a balloon or two. <laughs> I have about 1,400 here. So the goal is at least a thousand, but we want to do more than that if we can. So it just depends. I mean, look at all this. <laughs> and how many hours we have? Seven. We'll do it. If the whole world would get in a balloon, I would be happy. If, if, if it became a fad and everyone was doing it, yeah. <laughs> that they did have. We don't have feelings that are like sexual per se, we, but we, our sexuality starts developing. You know, a, a little boy will get an erection climbing a tree. You know, it's just, it's normal. You know, um, we have fantasies where we feel sexual arousal, but we don't understand what it is or what it means. And as we shouldn't, you know, there's an appropriate time for those things to really come into. So you give a little boy a balloon, he takes it in his bedroom playing with it. He's alone. You know, you never know what he might end up doing with it. You know, rubbing it on yourself. And a lot of balloon fetishists, the men, um, a lot of them started when they were very young. Eight, nine, ten. And they found that they could use a balloon in a sexual way that was satisfying. I totally get it. If I was a boy and, you know, not all boys, you know, do that but some have, and then it becomes a fetish to them that, throughout their life. And it has nothing to do with kids, it has nothing to do with anything that's non-consensual. It's just a balloon, it's just a balloon. It means nothing but what you project onto it. Now, if I use... <laughs> if I, um... We should count those. We've gotten four so far, I think. Everyone, all the elderly people are getting their turning their heart pacers up. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think 
right now, because of the internet, we're seeing a lot more conversation about sexuality and about, um, you know, these issues involving sexual psychology. And um, I think it's really good, and I'm glad that people are. And um, it's amazing how many people have the different fetishes they have, from foot fetish to dressing up in women's clothing, to balloons, to latex, to inflation devices, to whatever it may be. And um, I think it's awesome. You know, it's important that we acknowledge and explore these things. I think one of the main reasons that we have sick sexuality going on in the world is because of oppression and suppression and stigmas and judgments. And, you know, people are not nurtured to develop um, free of shame and guilt and pressures and all that stuff. And they're not nurtured to be self-aware people. So um, anyway, I think this is the age of information and I'm so glad people are connecting in that way. And what people are finding is that there's all these other people out there who are doing the same things they're doing. The lunar community is pretty big. It's amazing. It's amazing. I started a Facebook profile like three weeks ago, I now have almost a thousand friends and over half of them are lunars. So, you know. <laughs> I'm not a lunar. <laughs> That's what I've been saying. I'm not a lunar. I am not a lunar. <laughs> I just love balloons. But I love putting naked girls in balloons. Naked boys, naked girls, naked people. <laughs> Not quite enough balloons for me, but oh well. <laughs> it's like another world. It's all very... It's so cool. I don't know how to explain it. It's really awesome though. And totally safe.